In this problem, we're asked to calculate the mean variance and standard deviation for a random variable. We're given the probability distribution of the random variable. So here are the formulas for the mean right here and the variance right here. And we get the standard deviation by just taking the square root of the variance. You can do this by hand in a calculator, but it's actually a little bit easier in Excel and it can cut down on arithmetic errors if you use this method instead. So here's how it works. I've put in the values of x that the random variable can take and the corresponding probabilities. For the mean, the first thing we have to do is just take each value of x and multiply it times its corresponding probability. So we'll start with that. So we just have equals, we'll click on the cell of, of the x value, put in an asterisk, click on the cell of a corresponding probability, and hit enter. And so this is just for the first entry here. Now we don't have to do this over and over. If we highlight, click on the cell we've already filled out, and select the little box in the lower right hand corner and click on it and just drag down, Excel will automatically do the calculation all the way down the column for us. So for instance here is 1 times 0.1, here is 4 times 0.25 and so on. Okay, remember the mean is just the sum of these values, so I'll just do that right here. An equal sign and we use the sum function, parenthesis, and we just highlight the things we want to add up, just like that, and close paren, and then just hint enter and there we have it. So right there is the mean. Okay, now finding the variance is a little more complicated. Remember what the formula looks like here. We need to take each uh, value of the random variable, subtract the mean, and square the difference, and then take that and multiply times the probability. I'm going to start by just doing this calculation here where we uh, take the difference between x and the mean squared, and then we'll multiply times the probability next. All right, so the first step is x minus mu. So let's see here. For this, do equals a paren. Here's the x value over here. And I'm just going to type in the mean. It's not complicated, 5.05. Close parenthesis, then hat 2, so to square it, and hit Enter. And again, we want this all the way down. We want to do 1 minus the mean quantity squared, 4 minus the mean quantity squared, and so on. So I'll just click on the one we've already done, grab the lower right hand box, drag down to the end, and we get all the values. Now we're not done yet because we have to take these values and multiply times the corresponding probability. So we'll go to the next column over and do that. So here we want to take, let's see, x minus mu squared, which is that value right there, and then multiply times the probability of x. Right there, hit enter, and we, again we just want to copy this all the way down. So we'll repeat this computation, drag down like that. And the last thing to do then to compute the variance is just add them up. So equals the sum, once again, highlight the cells we want, close paren, and there we have it. So there's the variance. Finally, the standard deviation is just the square root of the variance, so we can just stick that right here. So click on the cell we want, close paren, and there we have it, right there we get the standard deviation.